One of my biggest hesitations when deciding whether or not to move to Turkey was coming to terms with the idea that I would no longer get to enjoy my favorite club store, Costco. Costco was my one-stop shop for buying in bulk, from organic produce to Fig's 72-count box of greenies to a tub of hummus the size of my head. In addition, it's where my husband and I would go to spend our Friday date nights, where we would take extra time to wander every aisle before leaving with the $4.99 rotisserie chicken. So when I heard of this German chain of bulk stores in Turkey called Metro, I was curious. Could the rumors be true? Was this really the Costco of Turkey? Metro is a members-only warehouse, however, there is no fee for membership, and we just signed up easily at the service desk. The store itself has a warehouse feel, just like Costco, which is a bit unusual for Turkey, since stores here tend to be smaller in general. The front of the store showcased specials, and it was followed by a small clothing and shoe section. In the back, they had a fairly small appliance department compared to Costco, but their home goods section was expansive. There was a large selection of kitchen tools and gadgets, most of which did not need to be purchased in bulk. From what I could tell, items with this special yellow signage had discounts when buying in multiple. Here you could buy a box of Turkish tea glasses for 219 Turkish lira, or if you bought four boxes, you could purchase them for a reduced price of 175 Turkish liras per box. And just for reference, the current exchange rate is about 1889 Turkish lira per US dollar. Much like Costco, I was very happy with their cleaning section. I love stocking up on items like this that won't go bad, and as long as you have the space for it, it's almost always better to buy in bulk. We got some toilet paper and paper towel, and then I scoured the shelves of cling wrap in hopes of spotting my favorite Glad Press and Seal, but no luck. This may be something to stock up on next time I'm in the US. I was quite impressed with Metro's beverage options as well. My husband is a water aficionado, so we got a few jugs to try out a variety of brands. Most people in Turkey won't drink tap water, and even though it's perfectly safe to drink, Turks will look at you like you've grown an extra set of eyes if you dare to fill your own glass at the kitchen sink. So most people buy their drinking water or have it filtered at home instead. Don't worry, we didn't forget about Fig and made sure to get a pack of dental sticks as a complete side note, one big complaint I have about shopping carts in Turkey, and most other countries I've been to for that matter, is the lack of fixed back wheels. Pushing a cart with four moving wheels is absolutely impossible. Everyone I see is struggling to keep their cart straight, so why are they like this? It's something I've pondered for many years, and I can't come up with a reasonable explanation. I had no complaints about the variety of snacks at Metro. Turks are famous for their hospitality, and if you're ever invited over to one's home for evening tea, you'll likely be fed a variety of little snacks like seeds and nuts. Metro had a huge selection. Of course, I knew I was in Turkey the moment I stepped into the tea aisle. They seem to have every tea you could imagine in every size package. My husband likes to make a blend of about five different teas, so we picked up a few big boxes. This brand Doyush is very common in Turkey, and this 5,000 gram bag of black tea costs 383 lira, which is about $20. A walk down the other aisles felt very reminiscent of Costco, with everyday pantry staples. Back in the US, I usually bought a 15-pound bag of rice at Costco, and I saw similar sizes here. There were also big bags of bulgur, which is cracked wheat, and it's really popular in Turkish cooking. 
There was a 25 kilo bag for 522 Turkish lira, or about $27. Bulgur is not easy to find in the U.S., but for comparison, I used to buy a one kilo bag at a Mediterranean food market in Seattle for about $4, so this seemed like quite a bargain. There was also a big aisle for cooking oils. I used to get a two liter bottle of organic extra virgin olive oil at Costco for around $13, and I even remember some of the bottles saying that the olive oil came from Turkey. But the cheapest one I could find that wasn't even extra virgin olive oil was 18 liters for 1,399 liras, or about $74. This is really expensive when you think about the fact that Turkey is a major producer of olive oil, and the medium household income in Turkey is much less than that in the U.S. Instead, a popular and less expensive oil is sunflower oil. Here, this 18 liter container is 609 liras, or about $32, so more than half the price. Black olives are also really popular here, and I'm not talking about the canned black olives that you can get in the U.S. These ones are packed in salt. But this exact brand and size container used to cost us $8 in the U.S. at the Mediterranean market, but here it's just under $4. Metro had a really small selection of organic products compared to Costco. At the Costco I went to near Seattle, I'm pretty sure the majority of the items were organic, especially the produce, but it doesn't seem to be as popular here. Still, it was nice to see that they had some options, if this interests you. And finally in the pantry section, I was most surprised to see their international foods. They actually had quite an impressive selection. For some reason, there seemed to be a heavy emphasis on foods geared toward American barbecues, especially condiments. <laughs> Most of the brands I've actually never heard of before, but it was cute to see. In the back, they had a selection of bread items, including some tortilla shells, which I was not expecting to see. There was a butcher counter and a refrigerated section with all the meat, but don't expect to find any pork chops here. In another refrigerated room, they had eggs available either by bulk or in the normal size pack in Turkey, which is actually 10 eggs, not the 12 that I'm accustomed to in a U.S. carton. These organic eggs were 34.90 lira, or just under $2 for a pack of 10. So compared to the U.S., that's actually a really good deal on organic eggs. Of course, the yogurt section was impressive. Yogurt is used in so many Turkish dishes, and Metro had a really small selection of the flavored yogurts, but they really came through with their plain yogurt selection and sizes. This 18 kilo container of yogurt was 396 lira, or about $21, but I'm assuming this is geared towards restaurants or large families. In my last video, I showed how my mother-in-law makes her homemade Turkish manta, which are little dumplings. Here, I saw they had some in the refrigerated section to get for an easy meal, but I assume my mother-in-laws are much tastier. Metro's cheese selection was quite large as well. I didn't find my favorite Kerrygold aged white cheddar, but I'll look harder next time to see if there's something else that tickles my fancy. There was also a decent sized fish department right next to the freezer and refrigerated section. And finally, there was a produce department. We went on a busy Saturday, and this was by far the least congested area of the store. Outdoor produce markets in Turkey are going to give you the best deals on fruits and vegetables, so I'm sure that's why the demand was low. I did, however, see that they had avocados, and these seem to be a little bit easier to find in Turkey these days, and this one was priced at $24.90, or just over a dollar. The ones I purchase at Costco typically cost between $1 to $2 each, or maybe a little bit more if they're organic. Checkout was easy, but don't expect anyone to assist you with getting items out of your cart like they do at Costco, or flashing a big smile and asking if you found everything that you were looking for. 
The old saying of the customer is king is unfortunately only a mantra for business in the U.S. There was a small but sweet floral shop and a baklava stand on your way out and a little cafe in the parking lot. I guess this is the food court of Metro. Overall, I was very impressed with my experience at Metro. I certainly need more time to determine how competitive their prices are, but I was really satisfied with their selection, the cleanliness of the store, the layout. Now, can I say that this will replace my love for Costco? Of course not, because like any true love, it can't be replaced, but this comes pretty darn close. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time so much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.